Thanks, Chingaku. You're on. Painted for war. Scout for a war party. What would bring a Huron war party this far west? There are no white settlements around here. You don't reckon they're after your people, do you? Hurons never make war on Mohicans before. Why now? The river. All you got mixing in my fight. Hadn't stuck your nose in, I'd have massacred the whole kit and caboodle of them. They were just aiming to take care of any cripples you might have left lying around. Oh, well, if that's the way it is, I don't harbor no ill will. Who might you be? The Mohicans call me Deerslayer. Yeah, seems I've heard of a white man living with them heathens. I wouldn't call the Mohicans heathen. When my folks died and no one wanted me, it was the Mohicans who took me in and raised me. All right, no offense. My name's Harry March. I'm a trader out of Albany. This is Chingakook, my blood brother. Yeah. Any notion what brought him on the warpath way out here? I ain't got no idea. But if they're headed downriver to Lake Otsego, which seems likely, I'm gonna need your help. What for? What's at Lake Otsego? White women, that's what. White women? You mean there's a settlement there? No, there ain't a settlement exactly. It's more like a fort. Before them Hurons hit it, I gotta get them women back to Albany. Your own scouts will be watching the river. I know it. I reckon I'm taking them overland. I'm not much of a woodsman. That's where you come in. I will tell my people that we go and warn them of the Hurons. We'll start as soon as he gets back. Did you think our brother Deerslayer would let the Mohicans starve? One deer will not stop our hunger. There will be more. Deerslayer still hunts. You must do quite a bit of trading at the fort. Yeah, I make out. You better dump that sack of gunpowder there. It's too water soaked now to be any good. Yeah. Good enough for trading. How many soldiers you got at the fort? None. None? No, there's a one-man army, though, there, you might say. What do you mean? Well, you'll see. You sure you can trust that buck there? That buck happens to be a Mohican chieftain. Yeah. I'm not a bad sort of a fellow once you get to know me. <laughs> Only I take a lot of knowing. Stopping here for? Where am I tired after paddling you all these miles? Especially the way you got your goods loaded. Yeah. You 
deal in just about everything, don't you? Whatever old Tom Hunter wants, I fetch for him. Now, what would we be wanting with bear traps? There are no bears in these parts. The trader don't plague people with the whys and wherefores of their wants. Out of respect to get rich, he don't. What do you make of it? It's those Huron scouts we tangled with. They're signaling the main war party to join them. Uh, how far is it to the fort? Well, about five, six miles. Well, it's not likely any of them got ahead of us, but I'll scout ahead to make sure. Fetching you some berries. The water's like velvet. Take your clothes off and go on in. Keep back. Who are you? What do you want? They call me Deerslayer. I'm looking for the fort. There's a Huron war party headed this way. I don't believe you. The Hurons don't raid this far west of the settlements. Well, that's what I thought, but they're here. Painted for war. Put your gun down. Turn around. Now go, or I'll kill you. Don't be a fool. If you had any sense in that silly head of yours, you'd... <laughs> What's the matter? Gal Deerslayer. Ain't she a beauty? She is that. Remember this. You can look, but not touch. I'm trying to remember. I'll wager you never suspected that Hetty and her were sisters. I never seen two peas from the same pod look less alike now, did you? That's a fact. Uh, of course, Hetty ain't got Judah's looks and love and nature. Harry March, how you go <laughs> on? But that Hetty's a real engine in the woods. Mighty handy with that rifle, too, ain't that right, Hetty? I guess so. Hetty's a brave girl. She sure faced me down. Yeah, where you meet their pappy, old Tom? He's the rarest bird in the nest. I'll wager he is. Uh, and like I told you, you better keep that redskin away from him. Old Tom's likely to tromp on him. Now, you two better go ahead. Old Tom sees me coming first with a couple of strangers. Ain't no telling what that old coot's have to do. for certain. Looks like it was made out of a flat boat. It was. Tom bought it up in Albany and floated it down here and then built the port onto it. What put that notion into his head? Oh, I reckon he figured the engines might come calling one day. in there, all right. Like they've been watching us all the time. Tom! It's Harry March. 
Brought along two friends. At least wise one. That ain't no proper way to treat guests. Get that varmint out of here before I cleave his skull. Now hold on, Tom. That one's a Mohican. Mohican a Huron. They're all a bunch of bloodlusting wolves. Well, I'll say amen to that, but this one happens to be a friend of Deerslayer here, and he's a friend of mine. Deerslayer, huh? Ain't I heard your name before? It's not likely. I've never been this far west before. I roam a little. Yeah, he uh, he runs a trap line from the lake here. As never far mind back. how far. It's none of his business. What do you want, anyhow? Well, Harry here thought you might need some help. There's a band of Hurons coming downriver. Yeah, I see. We had to kill a couple of their scouts. They'll be howling for blood. <gasps> Harry! Oh, now, don't you fret none, honey. I'm going to get you out of this. You try making off with my duty, girl, and I'll bust your gut six ways. Why, old buzzard, if you wasn't her oh, boy? this John won't stop those Hurons. Let him come. It'll save me the trouble of looking for him. If you see any sign of him, hightail it back here. And signal me you're coming in, so no one mistakes you for a hero. Look, Hetty, isn't it lovely? Harry March, I could just hug you to death. <laughs> well, I sure don't aim to stop you. That's the very latest thing back in Albany. I didn't forget you, neither, Hetty. Ah. There we are. A brand new set of pots and pans. Now, what do you say to that? Thank you, Harry. Never mind all that stuff. Where's them cannonballs? All oh, right here, Tom. Oh, I, uh, sent Chinga cook ashore to watch out for those Hurons. Ah, good. Would you unload the rest of the stuff? Well, old Tom's in there counting them cannonballs to make sure I didn't cheat him. I, I want to make a little time with my gal. <laughs> Chingaku. The Huron doesn't live could lift his scalp. You mind showing me the fort? What for? I'd like to know my way around in case of an attack. Besides, I'd like to talk to you. I'm not much for talking. If there's anything you want to know, you'd better ask Judith. <laughs> Harry, you stop that or I'll slap you good. She seems to be busy. If you really loved me, you'd have carried me off to Albany long ago, like you promised. Now all those horrible savages coming, it's too late. No, it ain't. Deerslayer's gonna help me get you and Hetty back to settlements. You heard what Father said. He'll never let me go. He'll watch me like a hawk. No, I wouldn't worry none about him. I got an idea those Hurons are gonna keep his mind occupied. down below. Father's room. There's another ladder under the trap door so he can climb up here from inside. Well, it's plain now what Harry meant by a one-man army. With a cannon like this, a single man could sure damage his enemy. No matter what direction they came from. Maybe when the Hurons see it, they'll become afraid and go away. No, I wouldn't count on it. Harry thinks we should get you and Judith back to Albany. I tried, but I can't ever be like Judith. Father says I've got to resign myself to... To what? To being the way I am. Without all my wits. tooth for a tooth. 
That's what the good book says. But I don't stop with the eye and the tooth. I go a mite further, I do. <laughs> Tarnation, Tom, are you going to wait until their scalps are waving from your Huron Lodge pole before you listen to reason? I can take care of my Judy gal. Hetty can take care of herself. Why take chances? Even with your cannon, the Hurons can still starve you out. You think so, huh? With this lake full of fish, them Hurons will be sprouting beards before we run out of food. There. It's all right for you to hold up here if you like, but it ain't right to risk the girls' lives. I'm wise to your scheming and conniving. You figure this is your chance to take Judy off to Albany and teach her sinful ways. That's not so. Harry wants to marry me. Don't you, Harry? Sure I do. But Hurons will know this ain't no fit place for Judith. She deserves a more frolicsome life like I could give her in Albany. I don't hear Hetty complaining. And what's good enough for her is good enough for Judy. Oh, you know Hetty, she's... Well, she's different. Harry's right. It's a sin and a shame to deny me a chance at a better life. No, by thunder! That's the end of it. I better go stand guard. him up and toss him in the lake, just like this. Harry, oh, stop it. Put me down. <laughs> well, I could really lean on a man like you, and that's a fact. I take great pride in my strength. That's what sets me above other men. Button in, ain't you? And well, there's a few things here I don't like the looks of. Like what? Well, old Tom, for one. Wouldn't you say he acts mighty peculiar? Oh, him. He's always been a little crazy ever since I met him a few years back and throwed in with him. Throwed in with him? Well, what I mean is I take the furs he traps, sell them in Albany, and then towed back whatever supplies he wants in exchange. Strange sort of fur trapper he is. Huh? I don't see any sign of furs or even drying racks. Maybe keeps him in his room. Maybe so. I wouldn't know about that. Now, what else is pestering your mind? Those bear traps of old Tom. I haven't seen any bears in this part of the country. Maybe he has. He knows these parts better than you. Maybe so. What's he got hidden in that chest of his? If you want to know that, why don't you ask him? Stop plaguing me or I'm going to bust you in two. No, you won't. Not if you want me to help you get your sweetheart and Hetty past the Hurons into Albany. Well, he... He keeps a lot of gold hidden in the chest, I know that. I've been trying to get my mitts on my share for a long time. Whatever I do, I'll let you know what else he's got stowed away. One thing more. Now what? What's the real reason he built this fort? What's he so afraid of, anyway? That's Chingakuk, coming back.
to be a pretty big bunch of them. How can you tell by that? Well, a warrior with a small war party wouldn't be so careless as to throw away an old moccasin. He'd bury it. We'd better get started for Albany then before they cut us off. Harry, what about Father? Well, the devil with him. Let's go. Not so fast. We have to wait till night to slip past them. Besides, we don't know where they're hiding. I well, suppose you go ashore and find them while I help the girls get packed. All right. And you try and make old Tom see the danger in staying here. All you got to keep those gals locked up in there, you old buzzard. They're safer here than traipsing off to Albany with you, especially Judy. What are you up to? I'm going ashore and trap myself a mess of Hurons. You're going to help me. No, I ain't. I'll not have any hand in your bloody work. You've already got a hand in it, you money-loving conniver. And don't forget it. Now shut up and get in there. I'll never get out of this terrible place alive. The savages won't tell us all. Don't cry, Judith. I look after you. You're awful good to me, Hetty, dear. Father was acting so strange and, and roaming off for weeks at a time. I'd just die if I didn't have you to turn to. Don't fret. Harry will get you out of all of this. I don't know, Hetty. Sometimes I don't think he really cares about me. If he was serious, he'd face Father down and take me away. Maybe he can't, Judith. Maybe there's something betwixt the two of them that makes him go easy with Father. What do you mean? I, I can't put it into words. It's just a feeling I get watching them together. That's kind of risky for Deerslayer and the Mohican, ain't it? They likely come back this way. If they ain't got enough wood lords to keep out of traps, that's their lookout. fixing to attack the fort. That's strange. No sentries. Yeah, they must feel pretty sure of themselves. Come on, now's our chance. We'll smash their canoe. On me. Can you make it to the lake?
You better get out of here. I'll meet you over by the lake. Well, you heard me. Go ahead. Get out. Just wasting their lead, the stinking polecats. You gotta come closer. Yeah, maybe they will. Let them. I'll blast them clean out of the water. You were mighty careless with those traps of yours. Almost killed Chingakook. I'm likely to yet if you don't stay away from Hetty. She doesn't seem to mind. Well, she'd better. Or I'll take a strap to her, feeble witted or not. Nothing wrong with her wits that a little kindness wouldn't help. And you'd see that if you're any kind of a real father to her. You mind your manners. And tell that redskin to mind his. Or I'll give him the same treatment I gave them Hurons. I think I know why the Hurons are after you. What do you mean? I saw those two you left in the woods. They didn't look very pretty. Neither did some white folks I saw when the Indians got through with them. Or maybe that don't bother you. I don't hold with taking scalps, no matter what the reason. Oh, ain't you the pious one. Keep down, Hurley.
suppose you're too squeamish about his goods, either. What you getting at? Scalp hunting. You say some make a business out of it. You know, you keep prodding me this way, and I'm gonna bust you wide open. says, a tooth for a tooth. Who's there? Deerslayer. Open up. I want to talk to you. No, no, go away. Keep out of here. Where's your sister? And Harry. Outside, packing Judy's things in the canoe. You better get your stuff together, then. You've got to pull out of here before dawn. I'm not going. I can't leave father. Well, I'll see that he comes, too, if I have to drag him. Oh, please, you mustn't. He'll kill you. No, he won't. I'll go get packed. Where's Hetty? We gotta shove off. She'll be along in a minute. You better get me a hand with old Tom. You all going someplace? Like maybe Albany? We are that. Not with my gals, you're not. You're staying right here with me. Don't be a fool. We can't hold out here forever. We've got to get the girls away while there's still a chance. Shut up. Nothing to fear. Now that they've had a taste of the cannon, it's likely them savages won't come back. They'll come back. It's my guess you got something they want real bad. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. Want me to spell it out for you? In front of the girls? Get out of here. Go on, or by thunder, I'll put a hole clean through you. Look! Get the girls inside, quick! I told him to get rid of it.
Bob's out there. Let him in. I'll be a fool. It's him or us. Huron's torture, old white man. I'm not using that fire to dry his clothes. You can bank on that. Where's Harry? I was wondering when you'd get around to that. Why not? School ain't gonna do him any good now. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna inherit it, you might say, when I wed Judith. I doubt if you're anticipating marriage as much as she is. You saying I don't aim to do right by her? I say your main aim is to do right by Harry March. And none other. Get your mitts out of there. What are you looking for? Get that cannon loaded. Scouts. Indian scouts. You'd better not. They're not all Huron. He wasn't very particular, was he? The only thing he ever trapped was Indians, and you know it. Well, I might have had a slight inkling, but I took no hand in it. No. You just took the scouts to Albany and collected the bounty. What bounty? What are you talking about? Bounty money for Huron and Iroquois scouts. Just like the French do for our Indian ally. What's wrong with it? It's legal, ain't it? Yes, it's legal. And it's the main cause of these unending Indian wars. It's one thing to kill an Indian in self-defense when he comes howling down on you. But it's another to go seeking a scalp for blood money. So what? There's fellows on both sides doing it. Scalp hunting's become a, a regular trade almost. And at hundred dollars a piece, I aim to get my share. Now give me that. If you had no part in this business, as you say, then you wouldn't have any claim to this now, would you? I got something more to me for all the time I spent messing around these backwoods. I could have been having myself a gay time with them Albany gals if it hadn't been. <laughs> now look what you've done. Went and got Judith all upset. You're the beat of any man I ever saw, Harry March. Now, if you can bring yourself to it, suppose you get that cannon loaded and try and look after those girls. Well, I see what can be done about old Tom. You ain't aiming to try to fetch old Tom back from them Hurons, are you? Where are you going with that? 
to the Huron camp. Maybe I can make a deal with him. Deal? What kind of a deal? He scalps for old Tom. Are you daft? You go busting in on them savages, they go... record of the Hutter family. Births, deaths, and so on. Didn't you ever read it? Father always kept his Bible locked up in the chest. What's important? What's it say? Hetty's not your sister, Judith. She's an Indian. Hetty an Indian? Your father carried her off from an Indian village when she was just a baby. <laughs> She's pretty upset, Judith. See what you can do for her. Let her see. You knew about Hetty all along, didn't you? Would an Indian not know an Indian? Vielleicht bekommst du jetzt langsam Lust zu reden. Wo sind die Skalps und unsere toten Krieger? Rede und deine Qualen werden enden. I know it's a shock, Hetty. Coming so sudden. But if you think about it, you've got more reason to be happy than sad. Happy? About being an Indian? Of course. Don't you see? This proves there's nothing wrong with your mind like you thought. You feel and act the way you were born to. The way it's right and natural for you to. It's not in your blood and nature to be like Judah, and a lot more than most. Hey, Chingaku. My white brother speaks the truth. Believe me. What are you up to now? Well, nothing for you to fret about. Come on, let's go. It's time we made tracks for Albany. I'm not going with you. Not after what you said about, about your Albany, girl. Oh, I didn't mean nothing by that, Judith. It's just more than I can bear. Father in the hands of the savages and Hetty turning out to be an Indian. And you making light of me. I, I wish I were dead. Oh, now, don't go crying. You'll redden those pretty eyes of yours. Don't you try to sweet talk me, Harry March. You're just plain no good. I you right. Served me right if all my scheming and conniving lost me the thing I yearned for most. What's that? Stay here with the girls until nightfall, understand? If we're not back by then, make a break for it. Right. You're not sure then that the Hurons will give him up? Well, it all depends on which they want the most. Old Tom and the scalps are their dead. What makes you think they want them scalps at all? Well... All Indians are superstitious. Hurons more than most. They believe that the spirit of a scalp warrior can never rest until his scalp is reclaimed. And he can't go to happy hunting grounds without his hair on, huh? He'll go slow at first, trying to make him talk. That's the last we'll see of them. Come on, let's go. Aren't you going to wait for them? You think I'm a fool? They got no more chance than old Tom, maybe less. What makes you so sure? Never mind. Come on. Let her stay if she's a mind to. Her being an Indian, them Hurons likely won't bother her none. But father and Deerslayer and Chingagook, don't you care what happens to them? I'm concerned about you and me and nobody else. Now, come on, let's go.
Harry. Get out. And bring the pouch with you. What for? What do you expect to find in it? The gold that was in the chest. It wasn't there when I looked for gunpowder. You took father's gold? You robbed him? I'm waiting, Harry. them, too. Why not? A hundred dollars a piece are worth a sight more to me than they are to a pack of superstitious heathens. Harry, don't you realize what you've done? Where do you think you're going? To warn Deerslayer and Chingago. Not in my canoe, you're not. I'm using that to take Judith and me away from here. Daddy, come back! Let her go. But you'll be killed! They all will kill I am Deerslayer. I come in peace to help the Huron. Help us? Yes, by setting at rest the spirits of your dead warriors. You can do this? I can. For the life of the old white, I give the Hurons the scalps he took. What is to stop us from taking the scalps in your lives as well? Only treacherous dogs bite the hand that helps them. The scalps? For the life of the old white. There is little life left in him. It shall be as you say. We're too late. from your pouch. I might have known. The scalps are about dead. Where are they? The big white has them. Is he still at the fort? He went to Albany. The big white. Try to find him. If you catch him and get your scalps back, you let the girls go free? They will be slaves for the families of our dead. I reckon I know what you got in mind for Chinga cooking me. Not the fire. Hey. 
Judy. How did you... The gauntlet. You? No, they're taking us to their village. To make slaves of us. Slaves? My daughter's slaves of the Hurons? You dirty scum, I'll kill you. I'll tear you to pieces. You have a hot tongue, old one. Soon I will make it hotter. I'll get you first. I'll kill you. I'll kill you with my bare hands. Run. Run! you and Judith alive. Understand?
gets hurt inside. Little wonder after lugging that cannon all the way up here from the fort. It doesn't seem possible, even for him, strong as he is. I reckon it was something more than strength. Sure you don't want us to go with you? It's a long haul to Albany. No, thanks. It's up to me to take care of Harry now. You get me to a doctor and to a preacher. I miss you, Hetty. I wish you'd come with us. No, Judith, my place is with Chingagook and his people. My people will be pleased with you. As soon as we fetch them here and get you and Hetty wed, we can start building a village. Goodbye. Goodbye and, and thank you. Keep your hair 